Keith leads a band of scavengers and scabs. We used to raid the old Dahl dig site. Colonel Zarpadon imprisoned them, but they escaped from Dahl's digging truck to me. Wait, her name's Zarpadon? Anyway, he's got the digistruct key for my Zoomy stations. Killing him will get you to Concordia and make my week. Win win! What's going on, guys? This is Richard. This is Trevor. And we are back with episode three of the Borderlands the pre-sequel Let's Play. So let's do this. Um, in this video, we're going to be covering the story mission Marooned. Uh, pretty simple mission. All you have to do is kill Deadlift and uh, <coughs> pick up a Digistruct key. And I'll loot the chest. Things. Yeah. Uh, in our last video, we told you guys about this blue loot chest here that where you get the Oz kit from. All you had to do was jump over the lava like Trevor did. Yeah, I didn't show that last time, so I figured we'd show that real quick. Yep. It was random, but still. Uh, you guys <laughs> remember, from for completing the Lost Legion, you uh, received an Oz kit as your reward for that mission. And uh, Trevor, why don't you tell everybody about the Oz kits in this game? Uh, basically, the Oz kits are one of the newest mechanics in the pre-sequel, and... Um, what uh, they do is, of course, uh, allow you to breathe in the uh, the vacuum of space. It, they call them Oz kits because the font makes the two look like a Z, and um, they uh, will allow you to do a double jump and a ground pound. Well, you well, can ground pound without. Yeah, that, but so, yeah, you can ground pound. But the Oz kits also usually have uh, attributes to them that, uh, like, a slam. A slam damage bonus, and they can add elements to your butt slam or ground pound, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it. Another, so, oh, sorry, Trevor. No, go ahead, go ahead. Another cool thing about the Oz kits, after you get them, you can uh, revive somebody <laughs> from right fight back. for your life with a triangle, and it'll speed up their revival. It right. does cost 50 units of Oz. But it's very helpful in a situation where you're not in the vacuum of space. You can do a lot, a much quicker revive on your uh, oh, yeah. teammates. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys can see we got the rubber ducky uh, Damn clap trap action duck. skill from Claptrap. Uh, for those of you that don't know, all you do is you bounce around, bolts have a chance to reflect off you. I think it's <coughs> awful, but I mean, it it's awful. Fun. It's a lot of fun. Too. Yeah, it's fun, but it's awful. Makes things uh, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, 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 it does. Uh, here, guys, we're just killing enemies, trying to get onto deadlift ship here. There's just a lot of enemies, and... You guys will notice this as you watch more and more of our videos. Uh, to really stay on level in this game, you got to do side missions. You got to kill a lot of enemies. Yeah, you can't just run past. I mean, you never really could do that in any of the Borderlands games, but no, but that was this some, game especially. That was something I always found a big problem with me is uh, leaving fights before they were completely over. Mm -hmm. But you can't you can't do that on here. No, I, you, if you don't do a lot of side missions, you're gonna find yourself severely under leveled. Yeah, the game levels up very. Well, it seems like a lot faster than Borderlands Two. And uh, Borderlands 1 was a whole different story, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do the side missions. We've we've done quite a few. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to finish <laughs> up the story before we start uploading the side missions or not. But uh, uh, We'll figure that out when we get there. Across that bridge when the time comes. There's a lot of cool rewards from a side mission. The, the name escapes <coughs> me right now. I'm going to have to look. But uh, <coughs> one of the side missions you actually... Uh, unlock after completing the Lost Legion will give you um, a gun. It's called Miss Moxie's Probe. And this gun is the Grog Nozzle of the pre-sequel. No it, kidding. It's a mission weapon. I think it has a 56% heal. Yeah, it's close to what the Grog was, which is 63. Uh, now, of course, in normal mode, and I'm fairly certain in True Vault, until you hit level 50 in True Vault, the gun's not going to scale with you. It's going to be, you know, that level whenever you got the mission in True Vault, and it's right. level 3 in <laughs> normal mode. But it's a really, really powerful gun. <coughs> but surely once they add, well, oh. I'm sure if they do, they add Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, uh, which I'm sure they're going to. Well, uh, it'll scale with you, though. Yeah. Surely. I'm guessing they I mean, may do Ultimate Vault Hunter differently. Who knows? Uh, the mission not. that you actually get it from is a... I don't know how to pronounce this. It's the Torgol... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that mission you can do. Torgol, Torgol, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm not that's... sure. It's the Torque mission you get from Janie Springs. Uh, uh, at the very beginning. You unlock it after completing Lost Legion. Pretty. It's one of the best guns. And for anybody that's doing a melee build, whether it's with Claptrap or Athena, 
that gun uh, <laughs> saves me. I hate this part. I jump. I always get into that, that <clears throat> fuse too early, and it always well, didn't kill me this time, but it usually does. I'll pick yeah. up a chest here. See if there's anything good. Right Probably not. That fuse is a blue doll chest. Uh, <clears throat> like we said last time, guys, we don't have a whole lot of luck with chests. Nope. I don't know <laughs> if it's us. And of course, it's always pistols too, which I'm trying to avoid on Wilhelm, but. For those of you that don't know, the TMP is overpowered the pistol. The fire rate is just outrageous on these pistols. Any Vladuff pistol will do. I mean, yeah. But I try to. I'm trying to avoid pistols, but as you can see, I'm using one right now. And I, I just. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know much about Wilhelm yet. I'll figure out a build eventually where I can focus it around a different type of gun. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, this is going to be quite a long video if you guys hadn't noticed. It's. Badass right rank around, earned. Right around 20 minutes, so we're going to talk about a few other things. Uh, what you guys just saw there with that badass rank that Trevor did, uh, for the most part, it's been my experience between Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel and everything, that uh, your badass ranks... They carry between you, characters. <laughs> yeah, that, but the game likes to keep your percentage bonuses even, so for the most part, I usually just do like Trevor did there. And spam. Oh, well, here's deadlift. Deadlift time! I love deadlift. He's fucking hard, though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> he's a pain in the ass. Like I was saying about the badass ranks, the game just tries to keep the percentages even, so I, usually it's easier just to spam them. I usually don't spam them, but for the sake of the video, I did just now. Uh, I do. Uh, Trevor, you wanna, you wanna tell everybody a little bit about deadlift? He's a bitch. Yeah. I mean, that's all I got to say about Deadlift. No, Deadlift is uh, <clears throat> probably, I mean, he's not extremely tough. I mean, the shield is the worst part with Deadlift. Um, only thing you got to watch out for is what he'll do here in a second, I'm sure, where he... Um, uh, I don't recall in this actual video uh, of us fighting him that he does it. Well, what he does is these platforms you can land on, he'll uh, electrify them and makes it to where you literally can't stand on them without dying. I mean, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Um, he's not that hard of a fight if you can just get him to stay still for a minute. Other than yeah, that. the thing that makes that thing <laughs> so hard is that there's so many levels, there's jump pads everywhere. He likes to run away. That's really hit them crits there. Yeah, see, we get lucky here. We have deadlift cornered. Trevor was banging out crits like mad. You know, we have him cornered most of the time when you fight deadlift. He's going to run away from you. Like right now, he's trying to, I, I believe that. Yeah, oh, yeah that generator. I just literally on. pointed that at my computer screen, and like y'all can see that. Yeah, see, his health is not bad. Once oh, you get no. that, that shield, is really what you got to worry about. Yeah. <coughs> I think he's a lot harder with just one person. Oh, but he drops this laser. <coughs> it's uh, really when you kill him. It's, not really that great. It's an okay laser for the beginning of the game, but it's highly inaccurate, and it has a lot a lot of recoil. I don't have much experience with the beam lasers yet, but um, other than that one, so I don't know if they're all like that on high recoil. I don't know. Maybe a legendary one. But I don't know, but they're it's annoying. So I don't use them. The only laser I usually use is the splitter. Uh, that was cool. He dead body on the jump pad. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, after you kill deadlift, you gotta go pick up the moon zoomy key. It's up here to the top. Uh, you get up to this top platform and go through this doorway here. There's a couple chests in here too. That yep. Yep. I think. Oh uh, no, no vending machine. Oh, in the toilet. Yeah, in the toilet. <laughs> Zoomy key. You pick that up. Uh, deadlift. We really made him look a lot easier than he is. Like, yeah. The first time it, I saw <laughs> deadlift, I died about thirty times. If you're playing with two people, it's a lot easier because you know one person. It, I mean, what I like to do whenever I'm fighting with two people is have one person, of course, always shooting at him, but one person keeps an eye on him and where he's going because he jumps around a lot. And, you know, but. <clears throat> yeah, that's the hardest part about deadlift. Uh, there's a few chests, safes, lockers back here to loot. You know, uh, like, uh, like we said in the last video, guys, we're not going to be transferring stuff from other characters. Nope. To, this, to these <clears throat> characters like we normally would if we were just playing other characters. So you're going to see us looting a lot and selling stuff. And uh, as we get further in the game, you'll see us with some purple weapons. That's going to come from using the, the, uh, what the hell's the name? The grinder? No, no. The golden chest yeah. keys? Yeah. Yeah. 
<clears throat> That's the only outside help we'll be receiving from this. Yeah, using golden chest. Just uh, really, you know, it, it's just, it makes the game a lot easier and it's available to everybody. Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you use it? Because if you're watching this game, you know, you can watch your neck. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Obviously. If you don't know about him, though, definitely go follow Randy Pitchford. I think it's at Duval. Mm -hmm. I think it's D U V A L Magic. On Twitter and uh, uh, Borderlands he, on Twitter, Borderlands yeah, on Facebook. Any of them will do. They all, but uh, Randy Pitchford tweets him out that he's oh, the CEO of Gearbox, and he um, he he tweets him out a lot where he, you can just type in the shift code. Well, there's actually <coughs> a website for the Golden Keys. Well, that's long. Oh, there my iPad. Up. Hold on, let me look it up. Real I think quick. it's orcs.com or something, but I may be wrong. Um, well, this is just us running right now. We're nothing really special going on. We're just kind of rambling on. Yeah, we're just killing a lot of enemies, you know. Crag and pass. Yeah, it's uh, okay. All right, guys. The name of the website is a uh, orcs. It's yeah, that's what I thought. dot <laughs> com. Uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, you can you can find a bunch of golden. Key, or shift codes there to um, you know long story this short a, it's a video game wiki just yeah. go to the <laughs> to the main page on orcs and uh google border yeah it, it's it's there you'll find them it's really easy it's you know it, it's, it's pretty easy website to navigate um they've got a big list there where you can check them out yeah if you just look up golden key on their website it'll pull it up and but uh anyway it shows you all the active shift codes uh, you can see here, I run the wrong way a lot of times, and Trevor follows No, me. you're running the right way. I just took a shortcut. No, but, I mean, I ran up that spur for no oh, reason. Oh, we do that a lot, though. Yeah, we, we run a lot, but, you know, uh, I think we said in our first video, you know, we're just average players. We're not anybody special. I know? am. We, like, okay. You know, we're just playing the game, trying to help you guys out where we can, uh, and just show you guys, you know, the tips and tricks we can pick up, and you know, show you guys maybe easier ways to do something, maybe give you some different. Wolf and Sight are so powerful. Oh my god. Well, I think anyway. I think really later on they could be extremely OP, which um, I actually heard that they are. <laughs> I don't know much about him yet. Uh, I've been playing as Jack's body double. It, it just came out recently, and uh, he's he's a lot of fun to play as. Uh, the dialogue's great. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I don't know about Trevor, but I personally have not been doing a lot of research on this game just because I'm still enjoying going through and learning stuff for myself. So, like, here within the next couple weeks as I get a couple more characters, finished up and whatnot i'll be doing a lot more research on builds comms and whatnot i've been doing a lot of research on nisha but i'm trying to steer clear with wilhelm because i just I, I wanted to um really just do my own build with wilhelm which i'm really liking him so far i, I just don't know what i'm doing with him but i mean i'm just gonna try and make it my own and yeah maybe later on i'll find something but for yeah, now probably uh I want to say hopefully later this week, but don't quote me, guys. Uh, I'm hoping here within the next couple weeks I can uh, finish up my Athena at level 50 and get out a good build on her. I'm done with Nisha. She's boring. Uh, I love my melee Athena. She's really powerful. The only thing is, is that I feel like I rely on Miss Moxie's probe too much. <laughs> but I want to finish her up at level 50. She's got... Awesome trees. The only melee build I've ever enjoyed doing was Krieg on Borderlands 2. And that's because it didn't require any skill. Well, neither does Athena. Yeah, I mean, she does. Dude, no, no, you suck. <laughs> For those of you who aren't uh, able to see us, uh, Richard was just giving me a death glare. Yeah. No, yeah. no I'm just kidding. That's pretty good. I don't know anything about her. Uh, but like I say, I'm bored of Nisha for the most part. Not that, not that she's a bad character, it's just she's so much like uh, the Gunzerker on Borderlands 2, and that's who I played, you know, 200-something hours on, so I just I, I should have went with a different route. But I'm enjoying Wilhelm now. Yeah, for you guys that played as Zero on Borderlands <laughs> 2, I think Athena is an easier character than Zero. Uh, I mean, I don't have her mastered by any means. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a... I think his name's Justin Anderson. <laughs> Uh, he's a huge, huge Zero character. Uh, does a lot of things with Zero. 
but I'm nowhere near as good as him. So, but personally, I don't think her learning curve's that steep. The only thing that I think about this game is a uh, health regen. It's just a huge issue in general. Well, I can tell you one thing. If you're going to play as Nisha, go down the middle tree. And that's all I've got to say about that. Oh, here's <coughs> um, a good example of why Oz kits are amazing. Yep, right there. Oz kits give you slam damage and whatnot, and you can do stuff like that. Personally, I'm, I'm a well. fan of cryo Oz kits because you can just run up, slam somebody, and freeze them. And you don't have to worry about switching to a cryo gun for it. And for those of you that don't know, cryo is kind of like slag. But uh, instead of increasing the damage dealt with everything, you know, it does some damage over time. And uh, it makes explosive damage three times as much. God, they miss slag, though. I wish, they ca I wish they'd decided to keep it in. But I understand because that wouldn't have gone with the timeline of how Borderlands works. So, because yeah. I, I believe Handsome Jack was the one to first uh, experiment with slag. So. Yep, yep. In the wildlife export. So I don't think that would go with the story at all. But I do miss slag. That cryo is a nice addition, so they had, they did they did a good job with that. Cryo is really good. Uh, you guys will see here uh, within a couple of videos as I get a cryo Oz kit. It's actually the only Oz kit I'll use, uh, just because when you get that cryo Oz <laughs> kit, you freeze enemies solid, and they can't. You know, when you have big enemies like bosses and whatnot, it just slows them down. But with like this badass scab, I would freeze him, and he would just stand there while I destroy him. <laughs> It makes it really, really simple. It's probably right about the end that I was cussing Richard, asking him to come over and help me. Yeah, and I was trying <laughs> to get a vehicle. Uh, we, um, we've had a lot, terrible luck with running into badasses, because, I mean, it's not that they're so difficult, but they have just such high health, and we don't have... Uh, <coughs> Great timing. We don't have the guns for it yet. Um, Something else to uh, talk about here. Um, this is actually our last episode where I believe, this is our last episode I believe where we're going to be recording after we do the video. Um, I'm really a lot, I, I would like to do more natural reactions to where, you know, to, so you can, you can really get in the action with us. Uh, so next, I believe it's either the next time or the episode after we are going to be recording completely naturally live commentary and it'll you know everything will be a little different than what we're doing now but i really think that uh, us doing this now is a good way to introduce ourselves to y'all yeah uh, our videos are definitely going to get a lot longer because with the natural commentary you know i mean we'll be talking the whole time so you guys will see a, a lot more natural gameplay <coughs> instead of things being edited like they are now. right and you'll feel more in, in the action with us which is what we want but at the same time this was a good experience so we can introduce ourselves to you all yeah uh for those of y'all that don't know checking vending machines is probably is one of the best ways to get legendaries in this game because uh right now bosses don't drop that many legendaries yeah we, we, uh, when it comes to shields and oz kits uh definitely definitely check legendary or er, uh vending machines which, if you keep up with um, any of the news on this game, there there is, I believe, a hot fix was issued to where you can um, grind uh, shields and Oz kids. Now I'm pretty sure, but no, we didn't. Die. No, to where you I can, got that out. <laughs> to where you can grind um, shields and Oz kids now, um, which was a problem beforehand where you couldn't. <coughs> uh, and another thing, I'm basically the only person that ever drives because I'm greedy, uh, and I'm by far the worst driver ever in Borderlands. We will have a blooper reel for y'all to look forward to one of these days. Uh, of my driving and the reactions, <clears throat> it involves a lot of cussing and laughing. Uh, mainly me cussing and Trevor laughing at me. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see a lot more of that in our, com our next coming videos. Uh, yeah, I get frustrated a lot. I don't know. Video games just... See, like right there, I don't know why I drive into stuff <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I was probably checking my map there because I didn't know where I was. Uh, it's a huge benefit to be able to check your map, guys. If you guys don't do it, I check my map I like, religiously. I guess Not I enough, could, though. I guess I could have had the camera pointing the other way for this. Nah, it's no big deal. If I mean, just run. Here through, we go. Run through the area. Uh, here we are. We're just running to Janie Springs to get this Orbitron for Concordia, 
and it's basically the end of the mission. I still don't understand what the Orbitron did to Claptrap. It just kind of, or does yeah. to Claptrap, it just kind of tears him up. But, uh, guys, we're fixing to grab this Orbitron here, and, uh, this is about the end of the video, so, uh, thanks for watching, guys. As always. Uh, please like, comment, rate, subscribe, everything. Just let us know what we did well, let us know what we need to do better. Absolutely. And, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Just jump that crap with your vehicle and you'll be well on your way to Concordia. Once you get there, you should be able to find...